If you're looking for a clean, modern looking tennis backpack that's very high quality and filled with innovation, you may want to tune into this one. I've been using the Go Axiom Tennis Backpack for the past three weeks and must admit it is very well thought out and made. As I go over the bag, I will showcase what I put inside each compartment so I can give you perspective. Now, the way I would just like broadly describe the Go Axiom Tennis Backpack is if you take a tennis backpack, you add high quality and then you add innovation, you come up with the Go Axiom Tennis Backpack. Now, I'll break that down so you better understand. Starting with design. I would describe it as modern and clean looking. Logos are subtle the way they should be. And it just feels high quality due to the high quality fabrics and premium zippers. This helps to put it ahead of other standard tennis bags. Let me explain. The fabrics used along the bag are a black diamond ripstop which are a polyester fabric known for exceptional performance while also being very lightweight. Then the zippers are made up of a custom anodized aluminum pool, uh, which attach to a larger than usual zipper teeth that glide very smoothly. I know all of us by now know what it feels like to have a low quality zipper. Well, not here. Bottom line is if you're looking for longevity and durability, this bag is built just for that, and I can see it outlasting the competition. Now, what excites me the most about the Axiom Tennis Backpack is how innovative, versatile, and user-friendly it is not only for tennis players, but also for daily commuters. For example, the racket compartment is located in the back sleeve that can fit a laptop or a tablet, if not occupied by tennis rackets. Since there's a lot of extra padding in between the compartment, it makes the bag more comfortable to wear, but also more protective for your gear. Also, the shoulder straps are adjustable so they can accommodate a better fit. Go states that the racket compartment can hold two regular sized rackets or one oversized racket, but I managed to make it fit three regular sized rackets. Keep in mind, uh, the rackets do stick, at, stick out diagonally in one direction, uh, which can be seen as a limitation, but to me personally, it makes sense. Now, another feature which is very convenient is that it has a hidden hook located at the very top of the bag, which allows for it to be hung instead of being left on the ground to get dirty. Then when the hook is not being used, it can be neatly tucked away. It's the attention to details that makes this bag so good. The grab handle on the very top is very sturdy and durable, but also soft to the touch unlike traditional handles. Here I put a dual sided clip to hook more things onto my bag such as extra clothes, drinks, tennis balls, all using my handy reusable nylon bag that I will cover later in this video. Top down, the first compartment once opened is a crush resistant pocket that has a nice soft fleece lined interior which helps protect your items from scratching. Here you can store small items such as your phone. It also has a zippered enclosure where you can help your things stay put and not spill out. In this case, I put an Apple AirTag in case I ever lose my bag, a spare overgrip, tissues, an extra dampener, hand wipes, and crackers in case I get hungry or need a little bit more extra energy. The next zipper down opens into the main large compartment, which actually can be split in half via the optional internal divider, which is super handy. If used, it also helps provide structure and shape to the bag. The top of this compartment also contains another two small zippered compartments to again help you stay organized. I love that. It's loaded with innovative organization options. In the large compartment, I store my cooling towels, my super soft microfiber sweat towels, my sunglasses case, and my reusable nylon bag where I put my used tennis ball so they help keep my bag neat. In the small zipper compartment, I put my hat and sweatbands, and in the zippered mesh enclosure, I keep my sweatbands so that I can visually see them. When I run out, I know that I need to replace them. Right outside the main large compartment is a side ventilated waterproof compartment. Here you can store things such as your dirty gear or your shoes. 
If not used, it can compress into the main compartment, which can maximize storage capacity, making it super versatile. What I put in this area is a bag of extra clothes plus a spare water bottle just in case I run out, my first aid kit, and lastly, um, another nylon bag where I use that to place my used gear that later I can grab that alone and go wash my gear. Now on both sides, there are two expandable side pockets that can store up to a 40 ounce water bottle. What's cool about them is that they're elastic but also have magnetic closure so they stay flush if they're not being used. Again, it's the little things. Here, I usually place my water bottle, tennis can, or even my phone since due to the magnetic enclosure, it keeps things in place. Hopefully, by me explaining all of these compartments, you now see how you have a surprising amount of capacity because of the bag's superior organization abilities. Now, for an even better view of the internals and compartments of the backpack, I will leave a link below for you all. So, if you're able to get your hands on one of these backpacks, I would say you're lucky because so far they have sold out three times this year. That should tell you something. High demand. Currently, it's due to be back in stock on October the 4th this year. Now, this bag is not for everyone, but since this bag is produced in small batches, with high attention to quality and engineered to be different and better, it does come with a price tag. But that's because you're not buying an ordinary tennis backpack. What you're buying, I would call, is the best tennis backpack dash everyday backpack, everyday carry backpack on the market. It also um, is a small company, which it makes sense due to manufacturing costs, it's going to be greater than other larger companies. But uh, what I think is most important, it's companies like Go that are pushing innovation in the tennis bag industry. And that's what I support. So what do you guys think? Would you get one? Or what are you looking for in a premium tennis backpack? Let me know down below in the comments. Bottom line, to me, this is the Mercedes of tennis backpacks and currently is my go-to for my weekly tennis routines. For further information, I will put some links down below this video for those interested in the things I cover today. Hopefully this review was helpful, but that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any further questions, let me know.